Welcome back guys to Scully's Lifestyle channel and today I'm going to be making some aki and chicken so I saw this on my sister status the other day she made some she made some aki and chicken and when I saw it and was looking really nice so I decided I'm going to make some so today I have some chicken that I already cleaned up and washed so what I'm going to do now is to cut them, cut them up small in small pieces in order to fry them, in order to crispy fry them so I, so I can cook it with the aki. Alright guys, so this is it. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to wash these again and then I'm going to add some powder season to it. Just powder season I'm going to add to it this time. I'm not going to add an onion or any skillet or any garlic or anything like that. But what I'm going to do, I'm just, I just want to season it in order to fry it and then I'm going to cook it down with the aki. And at that moment I will be using some skelly and onion and tomato and sweet pepper and stuff like that. So I'm going to wash it and get it ready for the seasoning. Alright, so I'm going to add some seasoning to it now. So I'm going to be using some chicken season, some all-purpose season, sorry, some Maggie all-purpose season. I'm going to be using some chicken all-purpose season and then I'm going to be using some paprika so I'm going to use one teaspoon of each And that is it. I'm gonna let this sit for a little while before I fry it, okay? So stay tuned. I'm gonna prepare everything with the aki and show you guys. Alright guys, now that the oil is hot, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting in the chicken. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn my flame to medium. I don't want them to burn. Try them crispy. But we don't want to burn them, we just need to get them crispy. So you're just going to put the flame to medium and just leave them. Let them stay for about six minutes, then you can turn them.
All right, guys, so I'm gonna take these off now. This is what they are aiming for. smaller you cut them easier for them to fry easier they will fry so this is what you want to aim for Now I'm going to add the banner. We're gonna let these stay for six minutes on one side, then we turn them. Alright, guys, so I'm gonna take them out now. This is it guys, so this is what you want it to look like. So this is the chicken guys, so I'm gonna cook up the ackee with this chicken. So this chicken is just replacing the saltfish. So instead of using saltfish, I'm using chicken. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to cut up the season.
so here we have it guys so I have the chicken that we're going to be using and this is a substitute for the salt fish so instead of salt fish we're using chicken and this is a season it consists of onion, tomato, garlic, sweet pepper, scallion and thyme and this is the ackee that I boiled earlier to go with it so stay tuned I'm gonna get it ready get the pot ready and cook it up for you guys pot ready I'm gonna be using some coconut oil Organic virgin coconut oil. I'm going to use this to cook up the ackee. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to saute the season. This amount is good. Just want to add a little bit more. Once the oil is melted, that means it is getting hot or it's already hot. So I'm just going to add, add the season in. in. Now I'm going to add the chicken to it. Gonna be adding the aki. I'm 
just gonna shake it up because I don't want to smash up my aki. I'm going to be adding some black pepper. And bring the flame down. Then I'm going to cover it and let it stay for about six minutes before I turn it off. And checking on it. So this is the final product, hacky and crispy fried chicken. Guys, tell me what you think about this. And I'm gonna have this with some food. So I'm gonna plate it and show you. Alright guys, this is it. Final product. Aki and chicken. Tell me what you think.